As the armed conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia is unfolding in favor of Azerbaijan, it makes sense to analyze the situation and try to detect the factors that gave Azerbaijan an advantage against its opponent. In this video, we will take a look at 5 life lessons from the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict that can be applied not only in the military context but also in business and in personal life. Life lesson number 1. Be prepared to make sacrifices that will help you to succeed in the long run. The Azerbaijani army has lost at least 9 aircraft since the beginning of this conflict. According to reports, the army of Azerbaijan has converted old Soviet-era aircraft into unmanned aircraft and are actively using them in their operations. By flying the old aircraft over the conflict zone, they try to detect the location of the Armenian air defense systems, which turned out to be a successful tactic. Azerbaijani sources shared videos showing the destruction of Armenian S-300 air defense batteries and other air defense assets. Lesson number 2. Know your opponent, know yourself and adapt to changes. This idea can be applied in business as know your competitors and engage in innovation. In the context of the recent conflict, one can observe that Armenia wasn't prepared for modern warfare against Azerbaijan. Nagorno-Karabakh is a mountainous region which turns any moving armed vehicle into an easy target. To counter the Armenian geographical advantage, Azerbaijan has been investing a substantial share of its oil and gas revenues in modern Israeli and Turkish drones for more than five years. With drones in the inventory of Azerbaijan, the balance of powers has shifted dramatically and Armenia didn't have the time and the financial resources to restore the balance. Having a much smaller military budget, Armenia kept relying on geography, trenches, Russian-made tanks, multiple rocket launchers and especially air defense systems, which came out to be highly ineffective against smaller targets such as drones. Lesson number 3. Timing is crucial. It was just the perfect time for Azerbaijan to launch that military operation. Due to the coronavirus, all countries in the world are busy trying to address their internal challenges including COVID-19, shrinking economies, increasing unemployment and so on. Understandably, in those turbulent times, the states try to avoid engagement in additional political, economic or military adventures. Furthermore, the Pashinyan government is disliked by the Russian administration due to their pro-Western aspirations and connections with the Soros Foundation. Being aware of the global and regional dynamics, Azerbaijan decided to launch a major offensive to rotate its territories, which the international community, including Armenia, recognizes as part of Azerbaijan. Life lesson. If you can detect your major competitors' mistakes, seek the right timing and try to utilize the situation in your favor. Lesson number 4. Aim for interconnected interests with your neighbors and other powerful players. Although the Azerbaijani administration is still in the grip of Soviet-era authoritarian bureaucrats, Azerbaijan managed to maintain close political relations with other players besides Russia, including the Western countries, China, Israel, Pakistan and its neighbors, Georgia, Turkey and Iran. Although Russia is the closest ally of Armenia, the relations between Russia and Azerbaijan are far from being hostile. Azerbaijan and its northern neighbor Georgia maintain a mutually beneficial relationship primarily due to their interconnected interests concerning the transportation of oil, gas and goods. As the western countries aim to reduce their dependence on Russian gas, they perceive Azerbaijan as a reliable partner in their energy diversification strategy. Furthermore, Oil giants such as British Petroleum are key stakeholders in the energy sector of Azerbaijan. China, on the other hand, perceives Azerbaijan as one of its partners in its One Belt, One Road initiative. Iran, who supported Armenia in the previous Karabakh conflict, is much more cautious to play against Azerbaijan primarily due to its large Azeri-Turkish population in the north of Iran. Moreover, Azerbaijan received the unconditional support of its major allies Turkey, Pakistan and even Ukraine, whereas the main political supporters of Armenia were not as supportive as Turkey and Pakistan. Additionally, Armenia's main ally, Russia, refused the direct intervention in the conflict, stating that the clashes are not taking place in Armenia. Life lesson, try to maintain common business and political interests with powerful players. Life lesson number 5. Never underestimate your enemy. 
Although Azerbaijan maintains the upper hand in this conflict, Armenian analysts claim that Armenia is fully capable to ruin the Azerbaijani economy by destroying its critical infrastructure, including its oil, gas and electricity facilities and air bases. Much likely, Armenia would refrain from taking such an action, as it would provoke a very hostile reaction from the Western, Chinese and Russian investors in Azerbaijan, and from the regional partners of Azerbaijan such as Turkey and Georgia. Life lesson. Never underestimate your enemy or your competitors and always stay alert. Take care and see you in the next video.